nothing else in life than pool. Play pool, play pool. Hello, eight pool in the morning. I'm a little tired now, so. But you need to practice different states of mind, different tire tiredness levels. So if you play a tournament, you go to a tournament. Maybe you sleep late, you forget to wake up, your alarm clock doesn't ring, and then you are there five minutes, you have five, five minutes to go to, the, to the, your match, uh, or you lose, and then you don't have a choice, you, you just need to go there right after you wake up. And that, that, then it is very, a very good idea, idea that you have practiced that before, that you know that what will happen, you just wake up five minutes before, then you go immediately to play and you need to be prepared for that. So let's start. You need to be able to just, just go like that. Immediately start to play your best right after going up from bed. So that's what I'm going to do here. I will, I will do it. Just immediately start your match. Ooh, this is going to be messy. This is a messy, messy rack. So many balls in the center here. What will you pick? Solids or stripes? So you see here the 15 is a problem. 9 is a problem. But if I'm here on the 15, I can make a stop, stop shot on the 15. Then I can make the 9 in the side. Uh, this is going to be a problem. The 11 is a problem. If I choose solids, uh, yeah, I can make the 8 in this corner pocket. So I have only one, one pocket to choose from if I choose solids because I can't make the 11 anywhere. If I choose the stripes, I can make the 11 in the corner and then I have two pockets for the 8 ball in the end. So that is good. So uh, if I don't get good, if I don't get good position on the last solid on the table, getting position for to this place for the eight is going to be very tough so I, I don't like that I, I prefer to have more options open in the end so I, I want to pick uh, I would like to pick stripes here because of that reason but this is a problem over here I don't, I don't like this problem the 15 but if you can if we can fix the 15 very early then it is a very good idea to choose stripes okay I think I'm going to do that. I need to fix it very early. Fix it immediately. So I, I will play position for the 15. Play position for the 15 and then the 9 needs to be... I can make the 9 in the side pocket over there. So that is not, not, a pro, not that big of a problem. But right now I, I will play position for the 15. I need to fix... Take, take care of the 15. Very early and it's like... Tougher shot now. Tough shot, but I need to fix this. I could, of course, also play position for the 13 ball there. But I might have a too big of a cut angle on the 13, and I don't, I don't really like that so much. So I'm just going to play a, a stop shot here. Stop shot on the 15. There you go, position on the 9. And now we have fixed many, many problems here. And now, now we just need to get to the 13 uh, sometime, okay? Uh, I, I, I would like to play, I make the 9 in the side, I play position, come up somewhere here with the cue ball. Then I can make the 11 in the corner because that is, going to, that is blocking, 11 is blocking the 8 from going in the, in, in the corner there. So I want to fix that 11 ball as well. But also the 13 needs to be, I need to get, get, get good position on the 13 sometime, okay? I don't know if I should go for it right now or later, because the position of play for the 13 is very difficult at this moment. But if I'm here on the, if I'm here with the cue ball, I can play easy position from the 14 to the 13 over here, so that's very nice. And, uh, if I select the 13 ball as the last stride, I can just go one rail, two rails, position for the 8 ball in the corner. Okay, so right now I would like to play position. Uh, let's see, 
I want to make the 11 after the 9, so I will play clean for that. Top right speed. Whoops, I hit the, I did not mean to hit the 8 there. I need, I need to do it again. And I, the 8 ball was blocking the 14 because I hit the 8. I didn't want to hit the 8. I need to avoid, avoid hitting the 8 there. So, yeah, I, I can't play position for the 11 because I need to go too close to the 8 to be able to come, come back here. The cue ball is going to end up going here if I go further away from the 8 and I, I don't like that. So uh, here I don't really, yeah I can make the 11 in the, in the side pocket over here, so if I make the 14 first, then the 11, then I make the 13, I have a tough, tough shot on the 12, I need to make the 12 early as well, and whew, this is getting tough. So the 12 needs to be made as well, so I, I think I'm going to go around the 12, hit the rail there, there. Stop somewhere here. Then I can choose between the 12 or the 11. That way I will avoid hitting the hitting the eight ball. I will avoid that. There you go. Just go around them. <coughs> uh, oh, oh, I'm, I'm too short. I'm too short. You see that I can't make the 14 because I'm too close to the 12. If I would have been here. I would be able to make the 14, but because I'm too close to the ball, I can't do anything here. If I had gone a little, little further, easy shot here, little shorter, easy shot. But I start right where I should not have stopped. That is something you need to think about. Okay, I'm going to do it again. I will play a little further away from the ball this time. Play a little further away. So if I end up, end up too short, whoops. Yeah, that was, yeah, I, uh, that is good, that is good. I will do it again. So you really can't fail on this chart except for the first time I did. I will do it again just to, sh just to show you that it is not so, not, not so likely that you are going to fail on this chart. Barely. I would prefer to be further away if you're closer to the rail there. That is a better, better strategy. So if I end up in the in the wrong, wrong, completely the wrong place, I still have a chance. So I don't want to. Uh, I don't want it to be up to luck that I'm gonna get a get get the position. There you go. That's better. Like that. Further away from the from the twelve ball. Now I have the eleven there. If I go a little further, maybe I can even have the 13 in the corner there. So I will do it again. Just go, just try to stay away, stay away from the 12. Be far away from it. As far as, far away as possible. Something like that, yeah. Now I stay far away from the 12, I have the shot. I have a shot on the 11, on the 12. Even on the 13, look, look at that, I have a shot on the 13 here, okay? So this is the best, best position play that I did. Position on the 13, 11, 12, even the 14. So this is a perfect, perfect position play here, right here. Uh, now I can choose, I can choose between many shots. But no, normally I would, yeah, I would make the 13 because now I have a good chance of making it, but let's say that I can't make it, let's say the 5 is in the way, I can't make the 13, so I need to pick this, this ball, so I'm going to continue here. So what ball will I pick, uh, 11 or the 12? And uh, yeah, I'm going to pick the, I'll pick the 11, and then uh, it is a tough, tough position I still have here, very tough position. And uh, if I make the 12, the 12 is tougher to make, of course, but if I make the 12, 
I can get good position on the 11 here. I can get either on the 11 or the or the 14. But the problem is that if I don't get position on the on the 11, then I need to save it for last. And I don't want to save the the 11 ball for last. I don't want to do that. It's, it's going to get tougher. Getting position from from this 30 ball to, to the 11 here can be very tough. But if you are, if you are, if you have the 30 ball last. If you have the 13 ball last, you can play one red, two red position for the eight ball. But if the 11 is here, you can't do anything with the 11 if, if you save this uh, last. So that's why I want to I want to shoot the 11. Okay, I, I, will, I will make the 11, then I make the 14. And then after the 14, I might just play position from the 14 to the to the 12 on, on, on the... Let's, let's see if, if, I, if I can make the 12 in the corner. Yes, I will play position for the 12 into the corner there and roll it in, play position for the 13. And then I can play position for the 13 to the, to the 8 ball. Okay, so many, many things, uh, many good things kind of come out of this. Oh no! I was afraid to scratch there, so I hit it a little too, too thin. I'll do it again. Hit it a little too thin. There we go, I hit, hit the left side of the pocket. And now... Yeah, now I can't get to the 12 so easily, but I can easily get to the 13, so I'm not gonna pick that that choice. So I will go, I will make the 14, come up this way for the 13, and then I will position around the corner here for the 12. And this is going to be quite a uh, tight, tight, uh, uh, tight line here. You, you might get snooker behind the three ball, so. But I think that is doable. That's going to work. Here I use the uh, top right spin. There. Now, uh, I can't use it so much draw. Yeah, yeah, it, it is possible, yes. And normally, if, if you go this way, it's very tight. Very tight to go this way with the cue ball, okay? Much better to go around the corner like this. It's a bigger, bigger area to travel with the cue ball, okay? So now, now comes a tough shot. I need to you have good speed control. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I no, yeah, that was a risky shot. I I didn't have a choice there. Tough shot in the end here. So I'm gonna do it again. Let's see if I get, can get better this time. Yeah, now there you go. Now the last uh, last uh, stripe. Okay, so. That is how you run the rack. And so the, this was a tough rack. This looked easy, but it was a tough rack there because of the all the all the balls in the center of the table. You had to fix that. And uh, you play position for many balls at the same time, so you can choose. You can re-evaluate re the layout of the of the table. Okay. This is the end of the video. Until next time. Goodbye. There's nothing else in life than pool. Play pool. Play pool.